Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, we're going to talk about Dogecoin on Futurama. Yes, Doge makes an appearance on a TV show. Kind of fun. Also more about Billy Marcus, other things going on with Doge and other cryptos. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out, as well as when I do live streams. That's right, next live stream will be Wednesday, 5 o'clock Eastern Time, Boston Time, where we cover all things crypto, little concentration on Doge, but we do other things as well. And continue to buy DCA live on the live stream. We're buying crypto each and every live stream. So be sure to tune in for that. Here we've got Dogecoin. It traded up over seven and a half cents earlier today, uh, retracing a little bit this afternoon as the volume is kind of uh, uh, coming back down a little bit. But we had Bitcoin was pushing 30k didn't quite make it but still in this long-term channel between 29 and 30 still sideways but still good to see a little volume popping up there that is good for doge algo started to make a comeback it was good to see algorand after being beaten down so bad but then retrace back down as well so we're still kind of in this market where you see some gains and then that they just get wiped out pretty much right away. But this is a good time to DCA. And that's, so that's what we're doing on the live stream as well. Uh, in news, PayPal launches its own stable coin. You can go on Twitter uh, X app and see what people are saying about this. Apparently there's some things written into the code where PayPal could actually freeze your uh, uh, stable coin if they wanted to take it away so all of that is not good that's why we don't like cbdc's and why paypal has that kind of written into the code don't know uh i don't think this is much in terms of crypto i think this actually helps paypal be able to make cross-border uh, payments because uh, that's the business they really want to expand into because a lot of countries where people can't use paypal so this sort of opens that up for them to be able to do that. And they do have crypto on their platform, but they don't have any Dogecoin. So, so there's that. Uh, that's in the news. And we'll talk about Futurama in a minute. We've got Shiba Inu. Uh, there's a lot of buying of sheep tokens before the Shibarium release. Some think it's going to be next week. And if that is the case, that could be big for Sheep. So... We've been watching it, and I actually just bought a little yesterday on, on DCA Live uh, uh, for Chris Pack's portfolio. We got some sheep as well into our portfolio, just in anticipation, waiting to see whether this is going to be a big deal or not as well. So we've got uh, Billy Marcus reacting to Doge appearing in the new uh, Futurama episode. And what does Billy say? Billy says, well, the silly thing I made 10 years ago made it to a Futurama episode. So, I mean, what could Billy say, right? He just shrugs his shoulders and says, well, what's next, right? What is this? So what is this Futurama show and what is this, uh, this appearance by Doge? Well, thanks to It's All Risky on the X app, formerly known as Twitter. I'll play it for you right here and you can see it for yourself so here we go and enjoy ah crypto country there's thallium in them thar hills priceless toxic thallium um is this thallium mm -hmm. oh my yes high grade ore um professor toxic relax they're my prospecting teeth Oh, quit that chattering. We're almost there. Welcome to Dodge City. Looks like you got seven hornswogglers and a galoot. Woohoo! We made it! It's pretty lawless out here in crypto country, so put on your protective headgear. Crypto country. There's oh, thallium that's it. in them. <laughs> that's kind of strange. Um, crypto country, whatever that is. But anyway, that was it. 
uh, just a little tongue in cheek thing about Doge there. Dogecoin popularity on the rise as Mean King makes appearance in popular TV show. Again, not a lot there. Uh, we also had uh, in other news, uh, we covered this live, was uh, Michael Vandepop talking about the entry zone for Dogecoin. And what is that? Well, we had him saying uh, right here that he was looking at 6.98 cents. And that did kind of make sense that if Doge was going to come back down, it would reclaim what it had a few times here in May and June coming right below seven cents to 6.9. And that could be the mark where a lot of people have limit orders set to buy more Doge if it does dip down there. So we'll see and we'll be watching that as we go forward in August. We could see a slight little dip there. And that's one thing that could happen. Uh, we also have Dogecoin reclaiming the meme coin trading volume crown, leaving Pepe in the dust. What is this? Well, if we go back to our charts here, let's go back to the daily. And we see that we've, we've had a lot of volume increase in Doge, especially behind the X app. And whether Doge is going to get integrated on the X, a lot of excitement about that. And people are buying Doge here that brought Doge back up from below seven cents. Uh, back in the sevens, people still buying because accumulating Dogecoin right now for what could happen in the future and what's happened to Pepe during this time. Uh, well, Pepe has just kind of been... <sighs> You know, the, the volume is gone. We had this huge volume back here uh, for Pepe back in April and into May. But since then, the volume has just tapered out to pretty much nothing. I don't know if Pepe is going to make another run or not. If the group behind Pepe has enough cash that they can start building things for Pepe, sort of like what, what the what the Sheeb devs have done on Sheeb, where Sheeb is making this comeback because there's a Shibarium and Sheeb is swap and all of these things. Is that going to happen with Pepe? I don't know. A lot of people holding a lot of Pepe bags, just waiting for something to happen. But we don't know. But with that volume just not really being there for Pepe, but it is for Doge. So that's what that article is about, Doge making its comeback. And what about the SEC? It would have lost against Doge 10 years ago. Billy explains why. So uh, one of the things is Twitter, uh, now the X app, paying money out to content creators. Billy is one of them that is making money because he's in the 15 million uh, impressions over the last three months. And uh, so he's getting paid. Uh, on X app for his for his posts, just like a lot of people are. If you're getting paid on on X for for posting, good for you. Um, I think it's led to a lot of the so-called engagement farming. It's just a lot of posts that people are making, which are just nonsense, just trying to get interactions from people in order to increase their own revenue, and it doesn't really add a lot to X, in my opinion. But I'm not. In that group that's getting paid because I don't I don't spend enough time on there um, just posting all day long but Billy does and good for him uh, for, for, for Billy there but then a commentator suggested that if Billy Marcus created a new cryptocurrency now he would likely get in hot water with the SEC as the regulator has recently been claiming multiple altcoins to be unregistered securities well that in my opinion is totally false uh, Billy responded that if the regulator had sued him and Jackson Palmer for making Dogecoin, it was only just launched on the market in 2013, the SEC would not have been successful. The reason for that is people actually cared about ethics back then. What does he mean by that? Well, there weren't a lot of... There wasn't this pre-sale thing going on. There weren't airdrops going on. They weren't making side deals for coins or any of that nonsense going on. So it's just a fair launch of a proof of work cryptocurrency. And so even if it was launched today, it's still, there's nothing in it that would say 
that it would be a security according to the Howey test and, and what the SEC uh, rules are saying about uh, certain certain cryptos being security. So that's yeah, just kind of interesting that that uh, that Billy commented on that. And it's just like he and Jackson were just having fun and they just let this thing out into the world. So there's nothing remotely about Dogecoin that would make it a security, particularly if Bitcoin isn't a security. Well, then Dogecoin certainly isn't either. So that's that's what I think. We're just watching Dogecoin now, uh, see whether Doge can make its move back up above seven and a half cents, push towards eight, maybe come over eight cents again. That would be good. The daily is looking strong right now. Um, so we'll see whether we can stay above the 7.2 cent line here. And again, some like Michael Vandepop think Doge may drop below seven cents, might be a good pickup. Uh, so we'll see whether Doge does a dip like that, but I just continue to buy more Dogecoin three days a week, uh, continue to dollar cost average in with Doge and uh, along with some other coins that we pick up as well. So be sure to tune in on live uh, again, a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, five o'clock Boston time. That's East Coast USA time. That's where I am. And we have fun just talking about all things crypto, a lot of emphasis on Doge, answering your questions. So be sure to tune in on the live stream. For this video, you can leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Doge and its appearance on the Futurama TV show. Give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.